What in the world? Literally came apart in my hands. My trusty cordless airbrush of a few years had died, therefore I'm gonna need a replacement. But that proved to be more of a difficult task than expected. These are a great gateway to airbrushing without that huge financial commitment. I definitely like having one in my kit. All of these different airbrushes I got off of Amazon. This was one of the cheapest kits that I tested. The system came with multiple size cups, some scrubber brushes for cleaning, it's a type C charging cable and the rounded shape feels pretty good in your hands. I personally hate these curly hoses. I just don't want to be playing tug of war while I'm trying to paint. And you can use this with or without the hose. The connections are inverted, so I won't be able to attach my water without some sort of adapter. So the really huge issue, when you turn it on, the air continually flows even without pressing the trigger. Since I didn't read thoroughly, they did try to make this as like a selling point. Oh, one less step. But if you're using this for makeup on actual people, it can get really obnoxious if you're on the receiving end. Let's see how powerful it is. It has two different settings. The power level is 23 PSI to 27. This one does work pretty well, but it's definitely best to use for props and whatnot. Back to the drawing board. Not gonna lie, love this color. That's a bonus point for me. Compressor is boxier, but still sleek. Similar accessories and it's dual action. The hose is woven and not one of those curly demon spawn. It does fit my other airbrushes so I can get finer details if I want. Did stick with using my water for this. Charges with USB-C. It has a nice light up display and that's gonna show you how much juice you have left. So I ended up bringing this to Monster Palooza when I did a demo. And my old cordless airbrush had just died during the test makeup for this. So I actually never got to test the airbrush that comes in the box for that reason and another. Just wait. So Monster Palooza was the first test drive. I am a fan of using Skin Illustrator concentrates when I want denser coverage. And unfortunately, during the demo, I found out that this airbrush is just not powerful enough to get that thicker paint through. Regular illustrator liquids and other thinner makeups are just fine. This was just a small issue. I really liked this setup. But then, well, while in the middle of the makeup, it shook apart in my hands. I would show you how this sprayed, but yeah, that's not gonna do anything. Zero out of five. Well, I guess we're looking for another airbrush setup. While searching for cordless airbrushes, I was not paying attention because I was shopping late at night. I was so focused on the 40 PSI that I just thought the box was rechargeable. Totally my fault. So yeah, not cordless, but I have it. So let's try it out. There's actually a lot I like about it. Their accessories are similar to the other kits. The plug for power is way too short for my liking. There's a moisture trap, which is really cool. This guy, for anyone who's had to clean those tiny little airbrush tips, you know it's a complete headache. So this little tool is gonna be handy for the future. A little holder attached to the side. Let's check if it can take one of the different airbrushes. Though I wouldn't hate working with the airbrush that comes with the kit. It actually comes with needles of 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and 0.5 millimeter. Can get a lot of fine detail work with this set. Definitely a big plus. I'm gonna grab some Teflon tape and let's get this thing together. Oh yeah, remember that little holder? Well, it's kind of useless unless it's dangling over the edge of a table once the moisture trap and hose are attached. It has three pressure levels, and each are indicated by color codes, which is a nice detail. No auto stop, so it does continually run, and I have found that this will wear out your compressors a lot faster over an extended period of time. Now seriously, this has to be the right one. I actually read the page. It's a dual action, so let's try it out. USB-C charging. There isn't an indicator for the power levels, so that one kind of sucks. It does have an auto off, so when you aren't using the compressor, it is totally silent. Also like that it has O-rings at all the connectors. This is gonna give you a better seal and less likely to have air leak problems. You can use it directly on the compressor or there's a four foot rubber hose. The hose does fit other airbrushes. The on switch has two modes for the two different PSIs, 20 up to 36. It has a 0.4 millimeter tip, but I would have actually have guessed smaller because this gives great thin detail. 
there is an airflow valve that is gonna give you even more control for that tiny detail work. Even the lower PSI, it does manage to spray the concentrates. Less than 50 bucks, and you have a powerful machine that does great thin lines. Now I haven't had this long enough to give it a full test drive, but the body definitely seems more solid than Mr. Self-Destruct. If you want some extra tips and techniques for airbrushing, be sure to click this playlist.